What's happening guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts, here to react to the next episode of Steins Gate Zero, episode 16. Alter the point at Infinity, Vega, and Altera. I must admit, after such a long time, it's kind of weird to go, go back to shorter um, episode titles, and this one also feels sort of like from straight out of uh, the original Steins Gate. So last episode, we focused more on uh, Daru and Yuki, and a bit of Suzu as well. Uh, they finally went on a date. At, f at first, uh, the, all the girls helped out with helped Daru's uh, so-called woman problem. Didn't really go over well. Um, y uh, Yuki felt a bit, um, bit uh, what would I call it? A bit out of it. Like it just wasn't the way that Daru usually acts. So she felt, you know, um, oh. Okay. I hate it when I immediately, I try to think of a word and it immediately escapes me. It's annoying. This is why I have trouble with names most of the time. Um, but yeah, Yuki felt ugh, uncomfortable. That's it. Brain started to work again. Yuki felt very uncomfortable until uh, Daru and Suza talked a bit and uh, like they all realized that they screwed up. Uh, well, besides Yuki. And so he tried again. He called her up. Um, and she accepted to go on another date. This time, he went in his normal clothes. He acted like his himself, and they had a good time. We also got to see uh, Souza's awful flashback to um, what happened to Yuki in the future in the World War Three uh, world line. Uh, pretty much because Yuki called out to her. Um, so not Yuki. Souza called out to Yuki, um, her mother. She, uh, well, Suza got the attention of a drone. That drone then uh, tried to shoot Suza, but Yuki, uh, as a mother should, really protected her, and uh, Yuki ended up dying in Suza's arms. And yeah, that was really, really tragic and really, really um, sad. So besides that, it was a really good episode. The date went well, but then at the very last, in the last few moments, we saw. Um, uh, a very um, uh, mind-controlled uh, Kusuru. Uh, I don't know what she's planning, but she's looking at. Uh, she was looking at um, Suza. So something's about to go down with that. So yeah, let's jump into the next episode and see where this goes from here. In three, two, one. What was that? Well, Ocarina's not around. From a yeah, and then that would cause an even bigger fire. Well, what do you expect this lab to be then? Yep. But in that uh, world, in that time world, world line, that's what I'm looking for. Um, Ocarina had a bit more, well, he was a bit more um, open to during the time travel stuff before it all went wrong. So yeah. Plus, Chris, uh, Christy, um, Christina, I don't know if I should call her Christina. I know I've had this conversation before, but I, I sort of don't know if I should call her Christina or Chrisru or Mackie's. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to call her Christina for the moment. Because Christina was there to pretty much, you know, pretty much prod and, and poke uh, Ocarina along, that's how things started to get... Um, Complicated <laughs> in Steins Gate. So I wonder if we're going to get the uh, 
mind controlled Yuki, not Yuki, uh, mind controlled uh, Kakuri this episode. Because, in fact, as I said, we saw in the last few minutes of the last episode. Maybe she tried to kidnap Sousa? I don't know. He's now interested in Daru. Okay. Yeah, when was the last time you all hanged out in per in person? Oop. Your normie life. <laughs> yeah, when was the last time you two hanged out? Hmm? Surely, Ocarina, you're feeling a bit guilty that you haven't been hanging out. You really think that, Ocarin? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, he's changing. Hmm. She's not very happy about that. Figure out, Ocarin. Ocarin, you need to figure out there's something wrong. Oh, now she's starting to weigh down on her, too. Another message from her, some, from someone. Oh, okay. Is a delusional romantic. Uh, you certainly are, Maori. Hmm. Aww. He's got to realize that there's something. Ocarin needs to realize that he's making a big mistake with this. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Hey, 
Have you seen Suzu in the last couple of days? I talk about her a lot, but... Uh, yeah. They're going, he's going, dude, he's going to figure out. Going to figure out you're doing an experiment or something. Well, you don't even come here to the lab anymore, Korean, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Could have heard the legal stuff. I mean, how did they hear about him, though? Well, I guess uh, the professor knows him, but still. <laughs> A cheaper facility. Oh, okay, we're going back to that. Yes, you can just say. He's going to get suspicious. Ocarina's going to get suspicious. Yeah, already, already suspicious. <laughs> Damn, Ocarina's on a mission. Yep. There we have it. The evidence. Time to come clear. Yep. Unit zero two. E. <laughs> it has to exist, though, that's the problem. Yep. Uh oh. He do he doesn't know that uh Mara is there. Uh... You're the one that's an idiot at the moment for saying all this right now. Yep. Boom! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> 
No, not right now. Now it's, she needs to explain. <laughs> Terribly known, much. Yep, you forgot about her, didn't you? Yeah, to jump back one year. And you've just been doing other things. Mm hmm. Because you're not Christina. <laughs> oh, Mary's going to hear it now. Oh crap, this is where everything goes wrong for Ocarin. <laughs> this is when it all goes wrong because he can't keep his mouth shut because he's insane at the moment. Well, not insane, but he's just losing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He needs to hear this though. I'm on he I'm on Dara's side. Yep, he did. Quite hard, actually. And it looks like Mauro uh, heard you as well. Mauro heard you, so... Yeah, you pretty much... The umbrella is there, but Maori's not. Yeah, I think he even realizes that Maori overheard him. Even if it causes World War Three. Like, this World War Three situation is still going to happen, no matter what you do, Ocarin, because you're in the wrong world line. Yeah, exactly, actually. <laughs> Wait, what can we check? Yeah. I wonder where my Ori is going.
Mm. Mm. War three is avoided, yeah. That's the proper world line that you need to be in. No World War Three. Both of them are alive, and there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having a shouting match on the roof. No, I won't say there's still hope. You just have to get find a way to get through to him. Man lost in what to do. Ah, right, we're going to focus on Chrissy by Maori. Because she overheard. I feel like we've had this conversation before somewhere. <laughs> Ah. Damn, even she's saying that you made the wrong choice now, Ocarin. It's true. Keep telling yourself that, Ocarina. Just keep telling yourself that. She's seen right through to your heart, Ocarina. She's, she knows you too well, Okuri, and that's the thing. Maori knows you way too well. Very pretty. Damn. Well then. Yeah, seems like Mo Ori, if I've got the gist of it, is saying, yeah, you sound like Mo is even saying, you made the wrong decision. You should have saved Christina 
instead of me because you look you're changed and you, you're broken because of it so at least we're actually going to see how he comes to Ocarina comes to this, the the theory of saving both of them without like in the row well, comes to the conclusion of saving Christina and stopping the previous world line from happening like having going back to the proper beta world line Damn that that's going to hurt, hurt Ocarina so much that Maori pretty much said that like straight out said that that has got to hurt him so badly. All right. Damn, Maori speaks the truth though, because like, well, what she considers the truth, that's a harsh lesson for Ocarin because she, she Ocarin, this, in this world line, Ocarin is all over the place. He wants to go to America and study and do that, all that thing. But at the same time, World War Three is stead steadily getting closer and closer. So, and the, everyone else is saying we're running out of time and we need to quickly do something to save the world line to save us. And Ocarina is getting like more and more frustrated and upset. So yeah, that was really good. That was a really good episode actually. I really enjoyed episode uh, 16. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll be back soon for some more reactions to Steins Gate Zero and other reactions. Have a good day, guys. Bye.